Hi everyone, welcome back to another video for our ROS2 Q&A. My name is Rodrigo and today I'll be answering this question, sorry, this question right here, uh, which is by WD Canella, in which he is following one of the tutorials that the NAF2 developers made in order to set up your own robot for then adding navigation to it. And he's having problems. He wants to know why in his Gazebo simulation you can't see the wheels of his robot, but you can in the Arvis. So I'm just gonna take you through what could be wrong here based on the tutorial that is this one right here uh, for the NAF2 documentation. So that way you'll know how to s create a simple robot for navigation. So let's go you guys. All right, so what we're going to do is use our platform, theconstructsim.com. So if you go to theconstructsim.com and you don't have an account, you can create one really quickly and log in. And then what I'm going to do is share what we call the Drawsject, which is our projects that we have here, uh, which has the work that you need to do for this tutorial already. So in this, um, Rostec, you you have this robot already working. So you will want to keep working with it, you could just use this. So it's really useful like that. So I'm gonna be sharing this link in the description of, of our Rostec and all you need to do is paste it on your browser and something like this would show up uh, called a Rostec called Sambot Nav2 Tutorial. So all we're gonna do is just click run. So now that it is loaded, uh, we can go ahead and launch what I have. Well, actually, let me explain first. So what I've done here is to follow basically the tutorial here in which basically uh, this guide helps you create a robot. So for here, it starts with the URDF. Uh, it, helps you create a package and then create a URDI or URDF file inside this package that looks like this. Um, and then add physical properties and plugins for, uh, for um, Gazebo, for the simulation. So what it does is it starts telling you what each thing is. Uh, so here, constants that you have for your URDF, then the base link, then the wheels, things like that. Uh, and then tells you how you can build it and launch and keep adding things that you'll need for your robot. So my guess here is that uh, this person skipped a step in this simulation or copied something not fully complete. Um, so I'm just gonna show you where you could have gone wrong. So for example here, um, setting up the sensors it's telling, oops, sorry, the odometry. It's telling you what you'll need to use Gazebo. So once you switch from Arvis to Gazebo, it's where you should see the wheels in Gazebo. So that's the first time it, they appear. So you'll see here, so we have Gazebo references already. Uh, for example, for the IMU link, and then the differential drive plugin and uh, everything like that. And at the end, you would launch this and the gazebo simulation should show this, right? So he's saying, I can't see the wheels. So it's probably something you're missing in your URDF file. So if we go to the, to the file here, we'll see that we have a ROS2 workspace and a SAM bot description. The only thing here is a launch file which launches our display and our simulation. And here we have the URDF file. So you'll see here that it describes our robot basically. So what I'm guessing is that in the, either you missed the visual tag 
for the wheels, for the wheel links, or once we start adding uh, properties for gazebo, for example, the IMU and things like that, that you missed uh, a, something for, 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 the, for the gazebo part. So for example, um, let me see where we can show you this. There you go. So we add collisions to the wheels. Um, and then in here, we're instantiating each wheel. So maybe it's this line, actually. Maybe you're missing uh, this from the tutorial, uh, which instantiates each wheel um, for the simulation part. So yeah, so other than that, it's pretty much pretty straightforward. All you need to do is uh, add the plugins for the once you have the description. So you can just uh, yeah launch this. So again, it works here. So all you need to do is just go ahead and and go to a terminal and do a ROS2 launch, uh, and this is Sambot. Sam bot description display dot launch. So here we have our vis. With our robot. With the joints defined and the frames. That red box is our IMU link. And then over here, we have the gazebo simulation with the wheels. So if we click one wheel, you'll actually see that it's the link that I'm talking about. It's called drive WHL wheel. So that's why I was saying maybe you missed the instantiation of these chakras in your URDF. Or if not, just go through each of the wheels. So in here, you'll see each wheel and how we have a visual tag, then a geometry tag, and a material tag. Uh, oh, and a collision, important for gazebo. Um, and then an inertial uh, Mac tracker that we take from up here. So yeah, make sure you review your URDF, but that because that's where the issue is. Uh, so if basically if you if you follow um, actually this right here, if you follow this setting up odometry step by step, which tells you you know which links to add and you can just copy this, you'll get it. So but if not you can take it from here from our work our Rust Jack, and you can just build on top of this and then share it with your friends. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, make sure you take a look at the gazebo tags there in order for you to be sure that you're launching what you want to be seen and uh, you should have something like this. Uh, let me know if you can launch it and, and work on top of this if you decide to use this project, which again, I'll share in the description. And uh, that's it. We'll see you guys for the next uh, question, for the next Ross Q&A video. Uh, if you have any questions, post them down here. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye. to navigation system then this course advanced ROS2 navigation is for you cost map filters custom behaviors 
and custom plugins. These are some of the things that you are going to learn in this course. In the first unit, we are going to teach you about the new features added to Navigation 2, like the Simple Commander API, the Follow Waypoints, or the Keep Out Zones. On the second unit, you are going to learn how to create your own behaviors using behavior trees. On the third unit, you are going to learn how to create your own plugins for navigation like Cosma plugins, path planning plugins, and controller plugins. And on the fourth unit, you are going to learn how the controller server works in deep. All this only in the Advanced ROS2 Navigation course. Start learning now.